actually we hadn't even started all that. See, I know the house is way ahead of us on that. We're just, I think maybe today Mark Norris and Bill Ketch and I are sitting down for the first time just a grand scheme overview. So we're not even close to getting that on our side. But our, ours is a, is a whole lot simpler than the house it is. I mean, we, 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 you, you can with a pencil set out figure out that if my district has lost some Northeast Tennessee, can I help you things shift and there's going to have to be a new district here in Middle Tennessee that you put Diane, well, the now the Carrie Roberts seat, uh, May Beaver's seat, Catherine Tracy and Jack Johnson's seat together. There's an extra Senate seat in there somewhere. And if you look at what's going on in rural West Tennessee, there's a Senate district gone out there. That's just factual. Now how we draw those lines, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be a baseball. We haven't even looked at that yet. I gotta sit down and start looking at those facts and figures and how we get there. What about the congressional district? You're gonna... uh, I, to, I don't know about that. It's gonna be tough to see. No, because let's think, you know, I've sat down with some experts a year or so ago and said, if we redraw these districts and, and just draw them fairly, where do you think we could be on, on the Republican side if we're just drawing them fairly? And we were at that time thinking we could get to, you know, 19 or 20 Republican senators and maybe 62 uh, of House members. And I said, you on a congressional side, where do you think, about 6-3? We think we ever get seven two, and they said, well, "There's no way you ever get seven two. Well, guess what? We're above all that right now. <laughs> so the whole paradigm has shifted from us trying to draw a fair uh, map that gives that, that we, by definition, would, would have gained seats, and we're just doing it fairly to all the incumbents now wanting to keep their seats. I mean, it's a whole different paradigm for us, and I, and I, it's going to be difficult. It is. So that I would have never thought we could draw a map to get to seven two. Congressional. So now we got to, let's put it this way, I think there's not a congressman in the state of Tennessee other than a Republican congressman in the state of Tennessee that hadn't sat in one of these two chairs right here talking to me at the end of session last year, just to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> are, you to, are you going to have a committee to draw the redistrict, or is it just going to leave it to Norris and Ketron? No, we're going to have, I've appointed a committee of the leadership of the, of the yeah. Speaker Pro Tem, now, now Bo, Bo Watson, East Tennessee, Bill Catherine, Middle Tennessee, Mark Norris from West Tennessee, to at least pull all the eyes, to poll the members and say, what would you like to keep? What do you think was good? How can we work this out? And then we'll kind of pull all those ideas together. And, and that, that's what we're talking about today. Now, that's how preliminary we are. They don't even really know this. That, that, that's my idea of doing this. And of course, I'll be involved too. And, and, and allow the, 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 you know, there, there may be, Senator Beavers may say, you know, I'd like to take this part away and take this part in here, because she's way over too. And so we'll and, and lay all that on a table and see how it works out. <laughs>